In this presentation, we will review internal control deficiencies and then discuss the communication process for those. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our crunchy numbers is my cardio product line. Now, I'm not saying that subscribing to this channel, crunching numbers with us, will make you thin, fit, and healthy or anything. However, it does seem like it worked for her. Just saying. So, you know, subscribe, hit the bell thing, and buy some merchandise. So you can make the world a better place by sharing your accounting instruction exercise routine. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Internal control deficiencies. So first we'll go through the definitions. We've seen this in prior presentations, so I'll go through this a little bit more quickly. Control deficiencies are when the design of operation of controls does not allow management or employees to prevent or detect misstatements on a timely basis in the normal course of perform performing their functions. And then we have the significant deficiencies, a step up. Significant deficiencies is one control deficiency or a combination of control deficiencies in internal control over financial reporting that is less severe than a material weakness but important enough to merit attention by those responsible for oversight of the company's financial reporting. Internal control deficiencies. Control, control deficiencies can be serious enough to be more than a significant deficiency, also being considered a material weakness. So the next step up is a material weakness in the system of the internal controls. So if we have a material weakness, that of course is, is a more severe problem. A material weakness are a deficiency or a combination of deficiencies in ICFR resulting in a reasonable possibility that a material misstatement of the annual or interim financial statements will not be uh, prevented or detected on a timely basis. Auditors must consider two dimensions of the control deficiency. So the two dimensions we're going to consider then are likelihood, is it reasonably possible, and magnitude, the material significant or insignificant. So when we consider these types of deficiencies, we're trying to say, we're trying to measure these deficiencies. We're trying to say, is it likely? How likely is this to happen? And then we need to think about the magnitude if something were to happen to consider the risk. And that is in the consideration of materiality, significant or insignificant. So here's going to be our table to kind of think about what the action should be, what type of communication, what should we do with regards to the deficiencies. So if we have, if it's going to be material, but it's remote likelihood of anything happening, or if anything is remote, we have, we're not going to have any action taken. If it's remotely likely, not likely to happen, we're not going to have any action taken. If it's reasonably possible or probable, and it's going to be material, then we have a material weakness. And a material weakness, that's going to be severe because it's, it's reasonably possible or probable and it's material. We're going to report it externally to audit committee and to management. So we're going to talk to both management and the audit committee in that case. If it's not material, but significant, so it's not material, but significant, uh, and it's remote, nothing. If it's reasonably possible or probable, significant deficiency. That's what we're going to define as then significant deficiency in our table. What do we do about it? Report to the audit committee and to management. If it's not material or significant, not or or not material or significant keyword or uh, as opposed to one or the other, then we're going to say that we have the control deficiency. It's going to be a control deficiency and we could simply report that then to management. That's the least severe case control deficiency, which we can report to management.